Hello everyone, my name is Santa Cockart and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. And today we're going to be doing the delete method in the symphony slash axios relationship. So to start off with uh, this whole ordeal, we don't want to do until axios is run. So I'm going to delete that for now or cut it rather. Go into Axios and run the delete function this time. And in single quotes, we want to go to the API slash to do uh, or to do's. Was it right? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. No, to do slash and then delete. OK, and what we also want to do then is add the ID of the one that we're going to delete. So I'm going to get the data.id to delete. And that's basically all we need. And uh, then so dot then and we want to have a response here in an error function and we can get the response to data but in this case there's not kind of going to be a response to that i mean there's going to be a message later but like there's going to be a message later but at first there is not going to be a message so for now we can just put all that stuff in there uh, like in case anything goes right, we want to run this, which is the actual delete stuff. And otherwise, uh, don't. So there is that. And then finally, a catch error, error function, error log the error. And there we go. So um, why do we put the ID after the URL as well? Or sorry, I need to put another slash here. Uh, slash and then the ID is because Symfony can access this data as an object, which is pretty darn cool. So if we go to our to do uh, controller here and we go to our delete functions, let's take a look at our delete. Yeah, we don't have one yet. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is copy this first function, this, this create function. I'm just going to copy that for easy sake. Uh, and then rename create to delete and then slash and then the curly brackets and then insert the ID here. So that's what it will know that we'll get. And that ID will refer to whatever we're going to get in here. So I'm going to name this function delete. And let's see, this is also going to be renamed to to do underscore delete. And we can delete all this. And this request, we're not going to give a request. We're actually going to get a to do entity, which is going to relate to this ID. It will get the to do that matches that ID. Oddly enough, it's just the way it works. I mean, we could look it up, I guess. So let's see routing and let's see parameters validation. Let's take a look here. So yeah, here you go. You can do, um, you can actually import stuff through the function uh, by basically using this. Uh, so here it's declared as an integer and it's called page and it's basically referring to this. It's basically referring to that. That is going to be a parameter inside this function that's going to be called. And uh, I mean, that's basically how it works. I don't know how they managed to pull it off, but it's damn handy and very useful. So basically you only have to give the ID here and it will already know which to do to get and which one to remove it at that as well. So the only thing that we need to do for deleting then actually is to attempt and try and delete it. So we're going to do a try here and we're going to catch that of course, because in case anything goes wrong and we're going to have an exception here and there we go. And uh, well, there's going to be an error here, of course, later if we want to, but in the try method or in the try block here, we want to basically try and attempt to remove it. So we're going to the entity manager here and we can just say remove and we can remove an object in which case it's going to be that to do that just came in, which came in through this ID. So it's going to remove the to do that matches this ID or this particular object in this case. So it's going to remove that exact object from the array. Uh, uh, in the uh, PHP catalog of the repository. And then finally, we just do another thing in the entity manager, which is flush, which will update the entire database. So we're going to return JSON here, which in this case is, well, it should just be a message later. I mean, it's going to be empty now. Or actually, we're going to make it a message. We're just going to say to do has been deleted. 
for now um of course later down the line we're gonna add some actual proper stuff in here let's see what is the problem here yeah okay change that so it should be jason that's gonna be put back but we don't really have anything to put down here because we're not giving back that to do and we don't have a message box yet but we're gonna give a message anyway now so there we go and then in the context well that's basically it that should basically be it. If it succeeds with the response, it will delete that particular to-do, and otherwise it will not. Pretty darn simple. Uh, it will just catch the error and go on from there. And then in the to-do itself, so in the to-do delete dialog, when we run, so here is the uh, context delete to-do, we get the, 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 the ID, the name. I mean, we don't really need the name, but uh, put it in here anyway. And then of course, hide. so we already run the function. So theoretically, it should already work. So what we've done in the context now is basically create that delete to do function that's going to receive the data from the delete dialog. So the context delete dialog, and then it's going to get the, the to do ID and the to do name. Uh, we don't need the name, but I give it anyway. And just to make for more complete experience, I guess. And then we axios delete to the API to do delete function which is in the controller right here. So that's where it's gonna to go to, to, do, to do API delete. And then the parameter is gonna be the ID of whatever we're trying to delete, which is in this case, this to do. So we're gonna get this object that matches this ID immediately through a parameter here in the route. And we remove that, we update the database, and that's basically it. And then in, if that succeeds in the front end, we search for that particular to do with that particular ID, we splice and delete it, and we update the state. And that's basically it. And if anything goes wrong, we can always catch an error right here. So with that being said, uh, let's try this out. So let me fire up my uh, symphony here. So symphony server start, and of course yarn and core dev watch. I mean, I don't really need to watch anymore. I've already done it correctly, I hope, but we'll see. So let's open up the browser, go to our page here, and let's see what happens now when we press the delete button on test to do. Are you sure you wish to delete this? Delete, and it gets removed. It did get removed from the front end, refresh, and it's actually gone. And if we want to check this again, we could go into our SQL uh, or sorry, my SQL workbench here. And here we can see we have ID one and two, we got do something and to do. But the last one, the third one just got removed. So let's enter a new one, new to do. And refresh. Okay, so here we now have ID four. So ID three got removed. And we now push forward to ID four. Now let's remove ID two, which is to do. Okay. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete this and refresh and it's gone. So the delete function now works as well. Awesome. Now again, like I said, later down the line, we will add messages and that sort of stuff with a material UI snack bar. So you get a message pop up that says like, hey, something has been deleted or whatever. But we're gonna implement that at a later date and add messages to all of these things and going to be working with some dangerous HTML probably, which is, uh, a very neat little render function inside some of the functions that you can do with inside React. It's actually pretty darn fun, but can be dangerous. That's why it's called dangerously render HTML. Anyway, <laughs> that has been the delete function. I hope you learned a lot from this and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video when we do the update methodology. So, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.